Is that a new Yub Nub shirt? Yeah, Crystal made it. Oh, nice. That's sick. Is that a new Yub Nub shirt? <laughs> Hello and welcome to the Nerd Age Podcast. This is a podcast where we talk about everything nerdy. My name is Jonah and I am joined with Corey. Hello. With Corey. By Corey. Corey. What, why would you say that? <laughs> a good and question. Josh. Hey, what's up? I join you as well. Is it, join, well. Is it oh, yeah, joined we by or is it joined, joined with? Uh, we, we're joined, joined by. together. In holy... Are we joined with or by? It's both. Huh. You can say either or. Anyways, we're here. Nerd Age Podcast. Barely. Um, we're going to be talking about some random news, uh, talking about video games, Star Wars news, just some random stuff. And then at the end, we're going to discuss the first two episodes of the Marvel series Echo. Um, we haven't watched the whole thing, but we got the first two episodes. So we're going to just give our first thoughts on that. Um, we're going to jump right into some news right off the bat. Um, Star Wars. First thing I wanted to hit you guys with. Um, this is a rumor. But the Dave Filoni's movie that we're all really excited for, the release date for that <laughs> yeah, is 2028. Yeah. So that's four years from now. I might be dead by then. <laughs> Who, knows? Um, Who knows? So what do you guys think? First reaction to 2028 finally getting the GOATS Star Wars movie. Uh, it doesn't sound real. It could, it could not be real. Doesn't Favreau's movie come out next year? Uh, that hasn't been confirmed either. So when is Ahsoka 2 supposed to come out? Um, like, that's yeah. another piece of the news that we okay. haven't discussed Sorry. on the show, oh. but they, oh, uh, they, they well, confirmed the Ahsoka season right. two so, is in the works. Yeah. So I'm thinking, I think we, we see this movie three to four years. Okay. So 2028, you're saying? I think 27 or 28. Okay. Because I think they have some work to set up stuff with yeah. Ahsoka. Because I don't think we got enough to go off of in that last season. Right. So they need to build up a lot more. Yeah. So what you're saying is you'd get probably Ahsoka season two yeah. next year. Yeah. 2025. Think late next year. Okay. Yeah. Or early 2026. Yeah. Um, I could see 2027 for the movie. Okay. Yeah. I don't know if I trust this rumor, but. Well, it comes it from Jeff Snyder. Um, the Insider? The Insider. <laughs> um so he's Zack Snyder's brother. <laughs> he's gotten some stuff. Um, he was on Collider back in the day, yeah. all those kind of stuff. But he has his own kind of movie blog podcast thing, and okay. he so you heard through the and inside. Bond. Okay, um, his scooper. insider said that <laughs> it's the in twenty twenty eight. Now the other news, we can just kind of talk about it all together because mm. um, the Grogu and Mando and Grogu movie directed by John Favreau has been announced. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, last episode we talked a little bit about not knowing if. Mando season four was coming out or if it was a movie because there were rumors officially there's a Mando Grogu movie directed by Favreau that's going to come out the other rumor though is that there's still going to be a season of Mando so Mando season four the rumor is it's going to be six episodes and it's going to lead up to yeah. the movie so the movie would so act as like this series the season finale that's dope um, that's cool. See, I, th- I love this yeah I think this is great what? No, but I mean, that's the kind of stuff I like to see where you, a lot of the often, often in these situations where like, oh, I wish we had more yeah. or I'd like to see it in a movie format just to see what they could do. Yeah. yeah we get to see that. That's cool. Yeah. I, I, I'm excited. We've talked about this before. I miss Star Wars movies in theaters. Yeah. So I love the Same. shows, but there is something that feels a little like cheaper, I guess, especially when they're filming, um, on the volume and you can tell like some of the stuff doesn't look as good. Like the sets you're like, well, you can tell they're just kind of walking the same thing over again. So yeah, I'm really excited for that. I just don't know. Let's we've had this conversation with the Ahsoka stuff and you guys have said like diehard fans are going to know like what they're doing with Ahsoka. But what about this? Like, what about people that aren't following the Mando show. Right. Right. And then they haven't watched the six episodes leading up to the movie. Is it, is an opening crawl enough to catch them up? Like, what do you guys think about that? I don't think it's that much to ask. I think, I think we, I think we're kind of underestimating people. I think people spend so much time at home watching stuff. Yeah. I think a lot of people have Disney plus if anyone's interested in the movie, They'll they'll hear probably through the yeah. trailer or or through information to be like oh well it's going to be based on the latest season, 
So I think more people do that. I think even my mom would do that. I, that was a, I think my mom would do that. The case. The We've <laughs> dropped, not name dropped, but mom dropped uh, on this <laughs> podcast all the time. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's the standard. There's like, what would your mom do? Would it totally your... <laughs> is. It totally is because she's easy to please. Yeah. But she can sometimes not be up on everything. Well, and she... Know. She likes she loves the Marvel she loves movies. She, she likes the superhero fantasy. movies. She loves superheroes. Um, yes. So she'll always go and watch those movies, mm-hmm. um, even though she's not. I don't think she's probably watched any Marvel show on Disney Plus, I would assume. Probably not. But that doesn't seem to affect her enjoyment of the movies when they come out. Yeah. Right? I think she's easy to please. I think a lot. Most people are easy to please. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. yeah. Like the Marvel fans that I've talked to, like coworkers and stuff like that, they're just so positive yeah they throw, just see, throw a couple jokes in there and just it's see, good they just see the good in everything <laughs> Bing, bang, it's boom. so funny <laughs> showbiz i don't know man like i'll <laughs> see stuff where it's like really bad green screen or like bad effects or just not great acting or cheesy lines and i'll be like Ugh, you know but these people these they people eat it up <laughs> these, <laughs> pe- these people <laughs> eat it up <laughs> they love it yeah, they love that crowd man they're easy to please I, it, their bar is so like they're they got a low, they got a low bar <laughs> That's the way you should live life, yeah. honestly. Just yeah. Having a smile. Never, every never time be disappointed. Maybe. Yeah. Yes. Zero expectations. Exactly. That's right. Uh, I, yeah. I, I'm, I'm curious <laughs> to see what it looks like. Um, like, like what you're saying, if they do the six episodes that leads into it, if they do, or if they're like, oh yeah, maybe we'll make it be like a standalone story that anyone can just hop into. You know what I mean? Like with the opening crawl, but yeah, it'll be interesting to see. I think most people will get it though. I think so too. And most people, I mean, season one of Mando was huge. Huge. Everyone's Grogu's watched Grogu's everywhere. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, that's true. So it's like you if, call it Mando and Grogu, and it's like... Which I don't like that name. Do you guys like that Grogu? name? Grogu? Ma- no, the, the <laughs> name... <laughs> you jerk? No, the name for the movie. Apparently, it's called Mando and Grogu. Uh, well, like, that's what they're saying the well, name is. I don't know where they're Jerry. getting that from, but it just seems weird, you know? I think it's going Wait, to Mando? the... What's the... The Mandalorian oh, and the Grogu, Mandalorian. I think, yeah. right? The Mandalorian and Grogu? I think so. If it was Mando and Grogu, <laughs> and it's in, like, like, Comic a, Sans, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ugh, I'd be pissed. So uh, I, I don't, and I don't know uh, if that's, people keep saying that's the title of it, and I'm like, I don't know where they got that I from. I wish it was The Adventures of Grogu and Mando. Grogu yeah. first. That'd be cool. Like, I would rather be called, like, Star Wars Bounty Hunter or something like that. But he's not a bounty no. hunter anymore. Jedi Bounty Hunter. Nah, <laughs> Jedi Bounty Hunter. That's Grogu. Yeah. That's true. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think, uh, I think we'll see Mando and Grogu. Is. Din and Grogu. There you go. Because no one knows his name's Din. They talk, they always they they always call him Mando. And everyone calls him Baby Yoda. That's true. That's true. So it should be I think Boba you're right. Fett and Baby Yoda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think you're right. Silver Boba Fett. But everyone everyone out knows what it is. So I, I yeah. think uh out of all the series, yeah. this yeah. one has the most. This like, is the star one that's power. like someone's like, Oh, I remember I watched yeah. season one of that. That was pretty good. There's a movie now? Okay. And then they're going to, yeah, they'll give you maybe an opening crawl or just like, you know, some lines to set up kind of like they did with the Ahsoka show. And then you're like, yep. you don't have, you don't have to remember like, oh, Jack Black was in an episode. Oh, you know what I mean? Like all that stuff doesn't even matter. It's just like, okay, we're doing this now. Would it be that bad if the first 10 minutes are kind of like any previously? No, no, not like that. But like, you know how like Ahsoka, like the first episode was kind of just like recap of stuff that you were already available to yeah. see from the series, right. like and from Clone Wars or um, Rebels. Rebels. It's like, couldn't they just do a little bit of like, well, and I feel overlap like lap just to get people. I think this, speed. this has to work by itself though. I don't, I don't like, I think they can make a mission where yeah. it's like a big mission. You should be able to watch the movie own. without yeah. knowing what happened before. Yeah. Um, I, yeah, I agree with you guys. And I also think, We've gotten to a point where we treat, maybe it's because there's been so many Marvel movies, mm. Just kidding. Okay, yeah. but we treat the audience like idiots. Like <laughs> back in the day when, yeah, yeah, yeah. you know, A New Hope came out or episode four came out and you have the opening crawl, you have no idea what the universe is about. They just kind of tell you. It's the same thing that happened yeah. with the prequels. It's a minimum information you kind of be you like, see. hey, no. this is kind of what's going on episode one. Okay, I don't know what the Trade Federation is. I don't know who yeah, what Naboo yeah. is, yeah. but I'm okay. Um, between every movie, things would happen, and they just kind of like catch you up to be like, hey, this kind of happened off screen. This is what's going on. You know, Princess Amidala, is, there's been an SSS. 
assassination attempt. Ship name? The SS assassin. <laughs> there's been some assassination attempts on her, and you don't, yeah. like you've never seen You're that. Like, all right. So I feel like cool. that's the same thing. It needs to start with an opening crawl, and I know they've been trying to get away from that with movies that weren't part of the sequels or right. part of that yeah. official episode canon because like it needs to be differentiated but i'm like no you have to bring the crawl back yeah. they did it with ahsoka which i thought was good a good way to even be like hey this is kind of what's going on so i think as long as you have that to kind of explain like hey they had a red crawl right see but they say yeah. they've yeah. moved away from a crawl but they really haven't because yeah. they've had it and they had one in rogue one it was similar did they, oh, did they have it in solo did, did they, they not they had one in solo they had it in solo, right? But it wasn't the exact same. Mm, like yeah, it wasn't, no, but it, it wasn't, wasn't a crawl. crawl. It was like it would came, a long time ago. Guys, far far, it was like the the universe is something with bounty hunt. Like yeah, you know, you know, but it, just like with a Soka, yeah. it's not like a the traditional Star Wars right. crawl with the fanfare. And yeah. Stuff. yeah. So I but think they Rogue need they need something Rogue like that. One and Solo are the only ones without the opening crawl. Okay, but they, they didn't have text at all. Um, I thought Solo did anyway. Movie's trash anyway because it doesn't have a crawl. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that'll be interesting. I just think as long as they do that, um, as far as what are you guys thinking, let's just look at what we've got on the table here. So, uh, I would Han assume. Solo, Luke, for sure. I would ass- <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about release dates, but oh. I'm assuming <laughs> Favreau's. Classic. We'll talk about that as it gets closer. Yeah, our projections. Yeah, of course, of course. Luke's obviously showing up. Yeah. But. Oh, yeah. As far as the movie's release, I would assume. The first one that's going to come is this Mando and Grogu movie. Yeah. I'm thinking 2025, December, like Christmas time, 2025. Oh, yeah, that'd be good. You think so? I'm think, I think so. That'd be cool. And then the next year. Oh, do you? <laughs> 26. <laughs> yeah. 26, would, I would assume, is going to be the Ray movie. 2026. 2026. Didn't they? Oh, yeah. They haven't announced anything about. I mean, there's some rumors. We'll get to that. Yeah. But then I think the one after that is going to be the Filoni one. So 2027. And now, if they fit in the Taika Waititi, which I hope they're not doing, but that might go in 27 and then Filoni 28. But I just think that's kind of. That's kind of what I'm thinking is going to be Favreau, the Ray movie. The Taika one was five years out. Yeah, he said it was like a five. Yeah, but I'm hoping, I'm hoping they don't. I'm hoping they. He was don't like, "Oh, I'm working on four other projects before that." Oh, okay. So, yeah. so we kind of did the math. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, maybe <laughs> a movie a year. But okay. what do you guys think as far as like um, that kind of stuff? What With the release? Like, do you guys think that's plausible? Oh, it sounds, or it sounds awesome. Or do you guys have a different order of movies? <laughs> no, I think I think your order makes sense. Yeah, uh, I don't know about timing. I think December probably does make sense because you want to have like, oh, maybe you release Classic. the season around May. You know what I mean? That's when you yeah. release the first part of season four. That would be nice. And timing. then you have a gap. And then, oh, at the end of the year in December is when you're going to have the movie. <clears throat> um, but I could see it in that year, either December or maybe even you do it in the summer. Um, move it up. But uh, it, I, I just the... The series um, relationship with the movie because it's supposed to be tied. That's what I don't know about. Yeah. Um, so we'll see. But I think as far as like that one first, then the Ray movie, and then the Filoni one, I think that makes sense uh, as far as order goes. I think it's in their best interest to try to fit in the same year. I don't know if they can do it. They probably can. Yeah. But. Yeah, it's in the best interest to do it so it's fresh in people's yeah. minds. And again, you don't we don't want to have a whole year break. That'd be bad. Yeah. And again, we don't know yeah. about the whole season thing. Like that's just been a rumor that they're oh, saying. Really? Yeah, it hasn't been confirmed. Rumor. At first, when the movie news came out, people were saying, no, mm. it's replacing Mando season four. And then people were like, no, I've heard that they're actually still doing Mando season four, okay. but it's going to be smaller. So there. we still don't know that rumor that story came from making star wars who has Um, gotten a lot of stuff he's the one that said that they're actually six episode season four before the movie um let's go move on to the ray movie there's been a lot of talk um, i'm upset about there's a lot i'm already upset just (laughs) mentioning the ray movie the amount of drama around this movie is crazy um we'll just recap real quick the director came out um 
They announced who the director was. I don't know her name off the top of my head, um, but all she's really done has been documentaries. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when they announced her, her comments that she came out with were basically, it's about time that a woman gets to um, run Star Wars or form the next story in Star Wars. Um, a lot of people got upset about that. Um, I'll give my own reasons why I think that's silly. Um, and then, so the internet went crazy with back and forth, depending on what side you're on, you know, complaining about it. Um, and then there were rumors that the, her movie had been delayed. Um, that came out a couple days ago and then Lucasfilm came out and said, no, it's not delayed. Still working on it. Um, so there's just been like a lot of back and forth, um, with that kind of stuff. My biggest issue with the whole her comments um, is she's if she thinks that now it's about time a woman's being able to guide Star Wars, then she hasn't. She's not a Star Wars fan because Kathleen Kennedy's been in charge of Star she's Wars, been ruining Star Wars for years. I'm just, I'm <laughs> no, kidding, I'm but I'm kidding. saying no, like no, just the reality. Right. Kathleen Kennedy's yeah. been in charge of Star Wars since it was sold. That's kind of like a slap um, in the face to Kathleen Kennedy, honestly. Ex- yes. Like, dude, she's been helming it up for how long? Yeah. Like not only eight, that, but years? let's 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 look at this. The Mandalorian. We got Bryce Dallas Howard that's been directing episodes. We got Deborah Chow that's directed some of the best Mando episodes. She did all of Obi Wan. Yeah. She um there's um Kiri Hart who's been She's one of the executives. One of the executives at oh, Disney. Wow. There's been women right now. I can't remember her name, but there's a woman that's equal with Dave Filoni and they're co create like, Oh really? You know? So to me, I'm kind of like, if that's I feel weird. like that's just a comment you say when you're, you don't understand what's been going on. And like you said, it's a slap in the face to the women that have been working yeah. in star Wars for decades. Um, yeah. And so to me, for once, I just want a director to come out when they're, it, I don't care what color you are, what gender you are, whatever it is that just comes out and says, Hey, I'm really excited about directing star Wars. Be nice to I'm going to make a movie that the fans are going to love. I'm so excited. I love this story and I can't wait to get to work on this. That's it. That'll be awesome. You don't have to come <laughs> out and be like, it's about time. They got a woman here. It's about time. They've got whatever. It, it's just silly. And it just makes people, talk about the wrong thing instead of people talking about Ray Skywalker coming back into a, mo- a star Wars movie. Everyone's talking about her comments. And I just yeah. think it's someone that's obviously not a star Wars fan. If you don't know that women have been running star Wars for the last 15 years. Weird. So it's just weird to me, but what do you guys think of the comments and the whole Ray movie stuff? Um, yeah. Uh, so the director's name is Charmaine Obed Shinoy. So she's mostly directed uh, documentaries. She yes. did some episodes of Miss Marvel um, for Disney Plus. Oh, okay. She hasn't done a movie though. No, this she will hasn't be done her a movie. first. Yeah. So she has directing experience, but not for a movie. As far as yeah. outside of a documentary. Mm-hmm. Um, no, yeah, I I agree. It's it's one of those things that's unfortunate. It's like not only are you just kind of like throwing gasoline on the fire that on a fire that hadn't even started yet. You know what I mean? You're yeah. just like preemptively, you're like, let me start with my foot in my mouth. And like, I'm trying to think of more metaphors. Let's stir up the hornet's nest. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Even before yeah. uh, you're getting the internet all uh, in a frenzy because of what you're yeah. saying. And then uh, what you said is right. It's like, it's a slap in the face to all the other women that have directed star Wars shows um, Kathleen Kennedy has been running star Wars. It's like, uh, yeah, it's, it's a slap in the face to them. And then also it's like, you're kind of like, you're trying to champion this whole thing of like equality, but you're kind of undercutting yourself cause you're speaking from a position where you have no clue. You know what yeah. I mean? Like inequality is a real thing, but the fact that you're like coming into, into a situation where you're like, that well, things have been pretty equal mm, in star Wars. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, out of all the, fr- I mean, no one's directing, or the, no women have directed a movie, right? So she's not. Right. Well, she's she's definitely wrong, but like, there's a little bit of something there, yeah. but not enough to like make this huge statement, right? I well, mean, especially like, when you also think the fact, like, I went back just thinking when I heard the comments and I saw a lot of people getting upset, um, and I'm like, well, here's the thing, like, let's think about it. We've had the three movies that have come out 
in the proper like episode numbers, right? So seven, eight, and nine. Ray was the lead, a woman, right? Then we got Rogue One, which was Jin Erso, another woman. We've got Ahsoka, who is like one of That's like also she's a woman. She's one of the best characters <laughs> in Star Wars. She's got a series. She's in Tales of the Jedi. She's in the Clone Wars. Like it's not that so, it's just Sabine's also a main Sabine, character in that show. Like the the amount of women in Star Wars. Even we can talk about Mando for a second. Bo Katan comes in and she kind of took over season four. I mean season three. So I just feel oh, like in Solo the 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 girl. Yeah, she's one of the more interesting um, yeah, Kira. characters. Yeah, Kira. Yeah, Kira. So I just feel like. This idea, now, I know, like you're saying, a woman hasn't directed a movie, but we've gotten, like, again, one of the biggest series that everyone was excited for, Obi-Wan, was given to a woman, Deborah Chow, based on what she had done with her Mando stuff. So I just feel like, and Bryce Dallas Howard has done some amazing episodes and gotten to do more and more. So there's this whole idea that I just think is it's disingenuous. Like you say, it just starts... You, you get people focusing on the wrong thing. Instead of people getting excited for Ray and her movie, you're having people talk about something else. And I also think, like you said, it's a slap in the face even to Daisy Ridley, who she played this character in three movies. And I, I think she's awesome. I know there's people that don't like her. I think she's great. I love her character. I think her Ray's theme is one of the best Star Wars songs ever. Like made by I go. have she her, she made her lightsaber is awesome. I own it. Like I'm excited <laughs> for the Ray movie. And I just feel like even those comments are like, well, it's about now I'm here. It's about time. It's like, yeah, well, Ray was here before you and her, her performance was great. And people love that character. So it just seems like it's, Starting yeah. on the wrong well, foot. What else were you going to say? Sorry, we, we like massively cut you off. Yeah, was I don't want to jerk. See, that was on a no. really important thing. <laughs> uh, no, I, w- I was basically just saying like, if you could have a gripe about Star Wars, I don't think representation's an issue. Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. Ma- yeah, maybe I'm crazy, but like the fact that you yeah. would just come out and say that and be like... I, I'm going to be honest. It feels more like a... I want to shock people. I'm going to say something just offhandedly. Yeah. Like, I just want like the same with, I can't remember what his name was. He's like, I want to subvert, subvert everyone's expectations. So I'm just going to do, um, what was his name? Brian Johnson. Your favorite. Yeah. Your favorite well, guy. it's the same thing. It's, Taika Waititi it's the same. Said. It's more like Taika Waititi. Yeah. He's yeah. Like, it's more that. What can you version? tell us about yeah. your star Wars movie? Well, I'm going to make a lot of people angry. Then don't do it. Yeah. Like why? And she said something like, I'm going to make men uncomfortable. Um, well, so was that, that was accurate? that was years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, that okay. was when she okay. was doing one of her documentaries. Okay. So but it has right. nothing to do with Star oh, Wars. Wow. So someone took so, that out so, of so, yeah. so that's Contact. the one, that's the that's one, one of the things that you're wow. like, okay. Yeah. So people have been pissed off I about see. it because they're like, okay. what are you going to make me? She said, I want men to feel uncomfortable. Yes. And, they, was, and they attribute, they they didn't they think say it's what in it was the same for, quote. And they think it's, it's in the same quote. Oh, that's stupid. And okay. what the, right. it's about a movie uh, about a woman. It's a documentary sure. about a woman that got attacked in Pakistan got acid poured on her. It's about the you know, Taliban. Yeah. Okay. okay. So One of her like, documentaries. Gotcha. So you're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. that makes sense. That makes you wouldn't sense. want yeah. people to feel the uncomfortable Taliban? about yeah. that. You want men to feel uncomfortable like watching this or yeah. like yeah. a travesty, like injustice. Mm-hmm. Uh, but the fact that that's the thing that sucks about the internet is that people with an agenda that are like, the Ray movie is going to suck already. Yeah. And look and what she said. And they don't tell you when she what said, what else right. can we pile yeah. on here? Yeah. That's okay. the problem. And that's why those comments make, like, instead of, I guarantee you, if she, instead of going the route of being like, finally a woman's in charge of guiding a Star Wars story, if she would have done the opposite or just said, I'm really excited for this. I love the Ray's character. I'm excited to, for me to kind of put my imprint on Star Wars. Like, that's totally fine. Mark, I'm you, so excited to join the ranks of Kathleen Kennedy. They, 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 yeah. All these amazing women. Who have run? Yeah. Or who have been a part and, of Star And Wars. so, if she That's says cool. something like that, that she's excited for something, then you kind of steal the thunder of people that are just waiting for you to say something and just pile on. Yeah. Right. There's there's going to be people that are going to find something anyways. Right. But I, yeah. you're coupling Always. that with other comments, and then it just makes it. I was like, yeah. Just to, for, same thing with Taika Waititi. Tell me why you're excited to make a Star Wars movie to get me excited. Don't tell me that you're going to make people angry. With because I'm well, gonna do, I'm gonna make people upset. It's like, well, 
based on what he said, was it him who was like, yo, I just did this movie for money? Yeah, I hear about the Marvel yeah. movies. So Thor. people like that. He faded Thor. Yeah. So when he said something like that, now I'm thinking the same thing. I'm like, you're yeah. just doing a Star Wars movie to make money. Yeah. And it's like, that doesn't make me excited to support your movie. I don't know. Yeah. It's interesting. Interesting. I guess they're rich anyway, so well, it doesn't matter. Here's they can the thing. whatever they want. So I know everything doesn't have to lead to James Gunn, but in this in <laughs> gosh, this uh, if it did, gosh, I'm in this here. context, it's it's kind of similar. Well, James Gunn came out with some quotes saying, um, superhero movies, he's like, Superheroes comics are dumb. They're stupid. He's like, so it's just so they're just it's just silly material. Um, so that's why with my movies, he's like, it's just whatever, yeah. you know? Mm-hmm. And so to me, it's kind of like, well, people care about these characters, like whether or not you think I comic books are silly too. or not, but I'm like, people relate to Batman. People love these characters and people gr- have grown up with these characters. So there's a lot of love for these characters. When you kind of dismiss it the same way, Taika Waititi was like, Thor's the worst character ever, ever. He's his comic books was the ones I just laugh at. They're so dumb. I was like, when you have that view of, characters um it just makes your movies kind of be like yeah they're just jokes anyways i, I think, can make yeah. every character a goofball and jokey and silly because this is just it's dumb entertainment and i just feel like if you contrast that with Zack snyder Zack snyder has a quote where he says um we would always make sure um to have fun never make fun He's like, these characters, you don't make fun of the characters because you want to have fun with these characters and build them up. Um, so that to be the opposite, to be like James Gunn, Taika Waititi is like, hey, let's just make these guys a joke because they're silly anyways. That's not there's character. Yeah. People love these characters no, and there should be respect for certain characters. So we're not saying she's like that. No, we're just saying those two dudes are re- yes, they're relatable for sure. They're they've got some sim- similarities. And I can't remember her name. What was her name again? <laughs> Sorry, you have it. You had it up. Anyway, I, Charmaine I, Obey Charmaine. Shinoy. Charmaine. I, I think Charmaine, Charmaine, Charmaine could make an awesome Charmaine. movie, Charmaine. and I'm super stoked for it. And, and yeah, I hope people can can be open to it because um, I think. There's some potential there. Yeah. So. And and I think she I love can, Ray. I love Ray too. Yeah. I think she could be a really interesting character. And she can Moving bring forward. a different like perspective, yeah. like coming from a world of do- maybe it's gonna be a documentary about Ray. <laughs> <laughs> My hey. life like the office. After, well, Daisy Ridley did say it was like a completely different take on Star Wars. So yeah. you're right. Yeah. It might be like shaky cam, like <laughs> what's your name? My name is uh Ray. Skywalker, is that really your is that name? Your real name? <laughs> no. Okay, it's Ray I don't Palpatine. Talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Um, but and that one is uh two year? No, we don't know. Rumored two to three years. Yeah, no, we don't know. So I mean, they said the script's done, right? Yeah, the fact that Daisy was like, no, oh, it's they a said they're movie. still waiting on. Then how would the, Daisy know the, the second draft? Okay. Oh, okay, okay. So apparently, they gave um, what's his name? Is it Knight? Knight, yeah. Even Knight? So he's writing it, and they're... Yeah, when the rumors came out, they said Disney didn't like it, and so they gave it back to him, and that he was probably going to leave, but now they said no. Hmm. So they're just waiting on his second draft, Okay, is what's going on. The worst thing that could ever happen in this situation is, you know, we get like a year out, and they're like... We fired the director. J.J. Abrams is coming back, baby. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, dude. You've been clamoring. <laughs> James Gunn. This is insane. <laughs> this is insanity. What? Okay. So speaking of J.J. Abrams, hey, we said this episode was going to go crazy places. Yeah. Um, it's we're just organic. following some it's rabbit trails, yeah, yeah. Um, some bad robot trails. WB, years ago, had given him a first look. Yeah. Um, $250 million. Mm-hmm. He made zero movies yep. for Warner Brothers. Yeah, amazing. They paid the man two hundred fifty dollars to be like, "Hey, make some stuff for us," and he made nothing. He didn't do anything. Yeah, what yeah. a con man! Pretty crazy. So he must have made stuff. He prop to get he by pitched through ideas. He pitched and ideas. Terrible. Uh, he, he did. Uh, the, so Michael um, B. Jordan was going to be the uh, Jor-El? No, 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 no. That 
I don't know if that was his, him. Was it him? There was one. The so what? I think there was two at the same time or around the same time. And one of them was JJ. So he's going to be yeah. black. Superman was the one that JJ. Oh, okay. yeah. He also did, um, uh, remember. justice league dark was, he was going to do justice yes. league dark, but still you pay a dude $250 million to be like, Hey, make us some shows. That's pretty and amazing. he hasn't done anything. That's awesome. And now he's, he signed like another deal with another dude, like Netflix or something that now he's going to be doing that. I'm like, WB, no wonder you guys, they're dumb. He's smart. He, that's what geez. I get from that. Like nothing, Bro, not even awesome. a show. I guess he was part of the um, Cape Crusader, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. That with Matt produced. Reeves, um, which that got sold to Amazon Prime. So we're going to get to see that. Oh, interesting. But I'm like, WB, you guys are stupid. You guys got rid of Snyder. You guys lost Nolan. You, you guys paid JJ up. Abrams $250 million to do nothing. No wonder you guys went broke and had to sell to Discovery. I mean, hey. come on. The vitriol. Oof. Oof. JJ Abrams. And stay away from Star Wars. Don't be mad at I'm just He's saying. Like I'm just saying. I would do the same thing, bro. I throw. You probably do the same thing too. You'd say, <laughs> well, you'd, yeah. You do but all these crazy ideas. I, and they'd be like, no, no, no. It's WB's fault. Like so, Han Solo shows <laughs> up. <laughs> We're talking about Batman here. You're like, I know. Yeah. Hear me. Harrison out. Ford as an old Batman. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, what a sly dog. Uh, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. Is there any more Star Wars news? Um, I think that was it. Really? Um, people are yeah. waiting. People keep expecting the Bad Batch trailer to drop. Or um, the Acolyte. Um, or the Acolyte. Um, but really? what I've seen all over it, Twitter is like, man. or X, is um, people saying the Bad Batch. Because like people in, um, I didn't know this, but Star Wars is not on X anymore. Oh, Disney. Disney and Disney. Star Wars, they don't Well, cuz freaking yeah, yeah, they were Elon they were, trash yeah, they were beefing them. with Elon. So they so I was wondering I was like I've never seen any like Star Wars announcements or Official, Disney announcements. Yeah. It's all and I was like, "Oh, that's why." Um but yeah. Um so it's pretty funny. We can move on to some uh we, there's some random video game stuff. What? Yeah. Um what? I'm blanking. What was it? <laughs> um well one of the things I wanted to talk about was oh. uh we had uh, the Suicide Squad kills the Justice League, which is the game that's been delayed um, that's for a up. long, long time. That's Comes out tomorrow. Um, oh, tomorrow! I'm, I'm not getting of, it. I know a lot of streamers who are going to be paid to play it. Tomorrow. Nice. Yeah. Um, how? Why are we not paid to play it? I know. Come on. It's a shame. But I was. Um, so there's a lot of people that are complaining about this game that it it sucks. Whatever. Um, I saw the first 26 mo- minutes of gameplay that IGN put up okay. and they also gave a little review. Their review wasn't good, but one of the things that what just did they give it, uh, I think they gave it a five. I'm, Ooh, I'm not really sure, it's low for IGN. Um, but uh, it could have been a six or something, mm-hmm. but the, the person reviewing it was like this move, this game is not any good. Um, and, but some of the complaints he had, I was just like, these are silly complaints. Mm. And I think IGN, misses the mark a lot. One of the complaints was um, you as the suicide squad, you're doing terrible things and that's not cool. <laughs> and I was like that you're the suicide squad. Like that. Right. What do you think? That's the whole point. Um, and, uh, and so it was, he's like, yeah, but you're going after people that are innocent or you're doing all this other stuff or you're, and I was like, well, don't people love GTA games? Like, don't you do like, I thought of red dead redemption, like the amount of people that would, hog tie somebody and put them on, on train, train tracks. tracks. Like I was like, Throw that's what crocodiles. you did with red dead redemption. Yeah. Right. And you had the cops chasing after you in red dead redemption. It's like, whatever. Yeah. So to hold that as a negative, um, was interesting. And the other thing that were like, um, when you're in the boss fight against the flash, um, he's just moving around so quickly. You can't get any shots off. Um, and I was like, he's like, and it's not a cool thing. It just makes it very annoying. Mm. And I was like, well, it's a boss fight. And he's the flash. What's he supposed to do? Like not move around. Like you're supposed to figure out a way <laughs> to, to beat him. Um, so it was just that kind of stuff that I was like, what are you like? What are your real complaints here? Um, if they're not, I don't know. It, it just drove me nuts to be like the complaints. Are you just trying to find stuff to be upset about? Because you know that a lot of people are already upset with this game. Um, mm-hmm. So anyways, we'll see. Um, I don't think it's going to be as bad as it seems like a lot of people are making this out to be a terrible game. Um, 
And we've seen it with other things, Rings of Power, all this kind of stuff. There seems to be already like a chorus of like, this game sucks. It's stupid. We should have gotten a Superman game, but they gave us the Suicide Squad game. You've been leading this chorus. And the, I know. Yeah. No. You're the lead choir boy. Yeah. No, Get actually him. I haven't. <laughs> um, but I, that was just interesting to me to be like, if you're going to complain about that kind of stuff, it's like, what's the Flash supposed to do? He's the Flash. He's slow. So let me shoot, let me shoot him. I think he's more aiming. I just looked it up. I think he's more <laughs> aiming at the fact that he didn't feel like he had control over the fight. Instead, he was just waiting for the flash to then get to a point where he was shootable. And that doesn't feel great. And I, I understand that. It's like, you, yeah, you, he's the flash. You can't shoot him. But like, I get it. It feels very staged and very yeah. like you're in a movie, play the movie, you know, kind of a thing. I understand where he's coming from, but yeah. Um, I don't know. Interesting. I don't think the game's going to be very good. So I don't think this is going to be far off. Yeah. Um, but well, that's just because of the stuff that I've seen. The f- the thing that did make me realize it's probably not going to be that good is in the first like 10 seconds of the playthrough or the first um, they're going around and you hear the stupid Riddler, yep. the Riddler from the Arkham, Arkham games being like, huh, uh, you can't see me, but I am there. And I'm like, they have Riddler trophies in this too. No, that's the worst part of the Arkham games. Oh. And that's what they brought over. Yeah. Interesting. <laughs> Same universe. <laughs> that's crazy. Well, it's supposed to be a live service um, game. So that's interesting. Yeah, that's crazy. And they said that kind of once you beat the main story, there's kind of not much to do slash tedious stuff. So I don't know. When you do live service, man, it's kind of a, it's tough. You got to keep people entertained. How do you do that? You have to have a lot of content drops yeah. often to keep people engaged. So, um, yeah, I bet this will get like a 6.5 or something on IGN or something like that. Yeah, probably. And I don't, I don't think he actually, and I don't think it. it, uh, like for me just watching it, I was like, this is, will give me a headache. That too. It's just crazy. It looks kind of janky too. Like the movement. I don't know. Like some of the moves are cool, but like, I don't know. Yeah. It's like they tried to we'll get I'll, I'll watch it tomorrow. It's like they see. tried to get the Arkham feel of like flowing through, but they were like, how do we get these characters that don't have way of grappling to like be able to go fast? And it's like, oh, let's give them get a like rocket a, boost. Yeah, or rocket whatever. boost yeah. or this guy can go through wall. It's just a yeah. weird. It's yeah. What? Well, anyways, um, what was the other there's so, some more gaming stuff. Uh I just know, I just know that I remember the thing from Ubisoft. Or oh yeah. yeah, bring it up. I mean, yeah, if you can think of any other ones, but yeah, um, I don't know if it was the CEO or whoever, some big guy at Ubisoft was like had a quote saying, "Players need to get more comfortable with not owning the games they pay for." So, oh. so, and they're re- <laughs> referencing, I think, to cloud-based games slash everything's going to be moving towards cloud-based gaming to where you're not actually physically owning the disc yeah. or whatever. And, you know, take that out of con. I mean, just take that. And I think a lot of people that pisses them off a lot Yeah, because when you buy something, you should own it. Um, it's not like you're paying for a net Netflix subscription that you're paying for the use for yeah. 30 days or whatever you're paying for a game. So I think, he needs to be careful about how he talks because that's enough to make me like, well, I'm going to be watching you. be soft. If you do this for yeah. like a, whatever game, like I'm not going to buy the game or buy the game. Quote unquote. Um, I don't know. It's kind of dumb. I think people are kind of, yeah, people are up in arms about it. A lot of negative well, responses. Did, didn't Ubisoft already, didn't people already lose access to a specific Assassin's Creed game, I think? Oh, did they? Yeah. I <laughs> think that happened. I can't remember which one it was, yeah. but I think it was one of those that was only sold physically or digitally. Uh huh. And then whatever, they stopped supporting it. So people lost access to it. That's so weird. Well, I think um, that's, that's, to me, that's one of the big reasons. I'm like, nowadays you're paying 70 to $80 for a game, right? $70. Yeah. Um, And so, it seems to go up every year, like, or at least when every, a new console comes out, it's like now games are more expensive. And so to me, that's the aspect of like, if I'm investing money into a physical game, 
like I want to own that game yeah. and I don't want it to be like at some point, um, like, Oh, this game isn't supported anymore. You can't play it anymore because we've stopped doing it on our end. It's like, no, I want to still go back and play that. It's like people that, um, collect consoles, right? You have a 64 and you put smash bros in or Ocarina of time. Yeah, like play. it's not, yeah. And to me, it's just like, you can't, and I understand like moving on with the technology. industry and technology. Yeah. So there's way more abilities like steam deck and all this kind of other stuff was like play any game you want, do a subscription, you know, that's different to me. And I understand that, but to totally be like, Hey, you just gotta, you just gotta be comfortable with not owning a game you're buying. I'm like, no, because the thing that ends up happening is people always want more money. And we see this in movies. We see this with everything. So you get to a point where it's like, hey, it's not cost effective for us to keep allowing these people to play this game because we want to work on this new one. So ah, whatever, they'll end up buying this new game. So I just feel like that's where it tends to go is people make decisions based on profit. Yeah. And so to me, that's like I want to have something that I can play anytime I want, Mm. especially if I'm investing money into it. What if I... What if I said, okay, let's make a compromise. You pay me twenty more dollars for the physical, but you can get it digitally for sixty. Let's say physical's eighty, digital sixty. How would you feel about that? I think that's also stupid. Cause cause you're talking about costs, right? right. And and profit. It does well cost. it's more to print, it's more yeah, to you, you know, make physical, the plastic yeah. or whatever in the case Maybe, and everything. Yeah. Shipping. Yeah, shipping and keeping inventory is probably the most expensive. Yeah. Of that. I mean, you do it with movies, though. Yeah, I mean, I buy. Well, yeah, but um, the di- the difference with that is the digital versus actually are they that much different? If I buy the 4K version on digital, it's usually the same price, isn't That's it? Not, they're like fifteen no? bucks. Hmm. So it's like double. So like you're paying yeah. thirty for a 4K. Yeah, but the difference disc. is steel books. I'm buying steel books. No, but I'm. Well, you're buying steel books, but in yeah. general, you don't buy a movie digitally. Uh, not you usually. Have, because you want to yeah. have it physically. So you're in this situation, you're paying extra for the physical copy. So it would be the same. And I I buy all my video games dig, uh, physically. Like yeah. I don't buy anything digital. Um, yeah. Very rarely is the situation where I'm like, oh, I'm going to get a digital. Because I just like having my games. Yeah. And you guys are console players. And so that makes sense. Yeah. yeah. Because you have a console that you put the thing in and you do it. I strictly am only digital. I can't remember the last time I I, I bought a physical movie or game. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So it's different. I think it de- depends Smash on... Smash Bros. I think it depends on the game. So, for instance, Fortnite. Okay? Fortnite doesn't have a story game. Yeah. It has online multiplayer... Everything's online. It's all live service. They have custom games. They have custom maps, blah, blah, blah. But if they went out of business tomorrow and the server shut down, all your skins, whatever you have in that game is gone. Dunzo. But it's a free-to-play game. But think about if you had to play a subscription for that. Or, I mean, you have owned digital items in that game. Yeah. Yeah. You have a risk when you play a game like that. And so... You know, Call of Duty, for instance, I own Modern Warfare, you know, Modern Warfare 2 from back in the day, early 2000s. I own that game. I also have it digitally. I can't play that game against people because no one's playing that game currently because it would technically have to be, I'd have to have enough people to play against. I can play the story mode, though, Yeah. if I wanted to, which I've never done, but you could. (laughs) Why would you? Who does? But I think it depends on the game. So when Ubisoft's talking about, oh, yeah, you need to be used to not owning it. I'm used to not owning Fortnite. Yeah. I'm used to owning, not owning subscription-based games and playing online with my friends or whatever, like League of Legends. Or that's not even a subscription. That's free to play. But I don't know. I think it's, it'll it, depend on the game. Yeah. I like that's if, the biggest thing. Like if Nintendo was to come out and be like, hey, the new Zelda game only is only digital. I'd be like, ah, that's stupid. Yeah. I, I, there's, yeah. I think there's totally a difference between... Or like even like WoW or Diablo is different than like one of those, um, you know, like Candy Crush. Any, any game that has an offline mode needs to be physical. Yes. And that's just how it is. Yeah. Because if you wanted to play it by yourself, you need to be able to do that. And if the company goes out of business tomorrow, you need to be able to still play it. 
Yeah. So, yeah, that's kind of my take on it. Yeah, I agree. It depends on the game. But I would also say that, you know, they're looking at prices and costs. So, yeah. Get, and um, physic- get and ready it, for them to squeeze a, as much money yeah, as they can. And it seems like, fi- I mean, Best Buy is not doing physical media anymore. It looks so weird. Which is crazy. Yeah. They did it They they did it years ago with like, they're not selling music anymore. Yeah, no more CDs. They kept movies. The, the, they and they then kept now, movies, right? Yeah. They kept movies and then, yeah, they're they're done. So I mean, CDs make sense. Yeah. And so now that to me is like, because I get steel books. So apparently Walmart and Target are getting the steel books now. So I'm like, okay, well, <laughs> at least there's someone that's still. Yeah. But Nolan made a joke about that. He's like, because Oppenheimer sold a ton of physical, physical copies. Yeah. And he was like, this is what you want to, he's like, this is what you got to do. Um, get the physical so that they, you have your copy and you know, uh, a streaming service can't take it away from you eventually. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, that's true. Wish I would have gotten that steel book. Yeah. Why didn't you? When I tried to pre-order it, it as already, already, already out. And then, um, normally what they do is they'll put out all the pre-orders right? and then they'll have a second wave. Uh, um, but when I went to the Best Buy, the guy's like, we're not getting a second uh, wave because we're done with, Oh, physical. the timing with was physical. Bad. So he's like, oh. we already did everything. He's like, normally in January, we'll have another round come in. He's didn't. like, but oh. he's like, we got our last um, truck of um, physical media. That was all yeah, steel books. That sucks. I know. So now the steel books going like 150 bucks no way. online. Yeah. It could have been you. It's the one time where it would have paid off. No, I wouldn't have sold it. I no, no, but I'm saying like the value wall. skyrocketed. That's crazy. Yeah, it's crazy. Is there what else, was there anything else? Or are we going to move on to? There had to have been something else. Gosh dang! But... Uh, there was uh, Rings of Power. Rumors oh yeah, hit us with talk about. Rings of Power season two, <laughs> Amazon Prime. Okay. Um, Bezos. Okay, bringing okay, us okay. the ring. So, uh, most people he are looks like Buff Gollum. The... <laughs> It does look like Buff Gollum. Swole <laughs> Smeagol. Swole Smeagol. That's good. That's good. <laughs> uh, so I saw this on YouTube. So most people are like, okay. Uh, I think it's from the One Ring, but I saw Nerd of the Rings was talking about it, and uh, we've already talked about this before. Okay. Anything that comes out about Rings of Power is like the intention for it is like let's dunk on it. Okay. Like yeah. this sucks. Yeah. So, nothing positive coming so out about they, it. They That's had a true. list of a bunch of like rumors for season two. I won't, I'll skip the ones that are like plot related. Sure. Um, yeah. Cause there's like reveals, you know what I'm saying? But I'll, I'll talk, talk about I'll, I'll talk about a couple okay. of them. All right. Uh, so they have, <laughs> new, they have that. new rights to material from the silver. Really? Nice. Additional. Additional. Wow. Nice. Uh, they said Simon Tolkien, which is, uh, like a great nephew or whatever of uh, Tolkien needs some money is, uh, is involved. Money. Simon in the, coming in the clutch. That's what I like, baby. Is, uh, Take is that Christopher Simon. Tolkien. <laughs> Simon. 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 Stay baby. Some money, baby. Um, so like, he, he's sure, helping man. out or whatever. Do whatever you want. Man. Um, <laughs> yeah. How much exactly. money will you give me? <laughs> How many yachts do I get? Yeah, so exactly. you're telling me you'll give me a hundred thousand dollars just to say, yeah, Sure. <laughs> that sounds like Sign something my great grand grandfather would be proud. <laughs> What's his name? Colin Simon. 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 <laughs> Just sign Simon. Um, so this is what we already talked about a little bit. That the the main story is based on Sauron. Yeah. Like Sauron's yeah. the main character. Uh, there's apparently going to be three different actors playing him okay. for the season. Yeah. So okay. we're going to get That's different little... different versions yeah, of him. So we're going to get him deceiving the elves. Yes. Yeah, yeah, nice. Yeah. Yeah. So that's nice. The, yeah, we, I mean, we that's what they're that. saying. Uh, they're saying we'll probably episode one will get the creation story. Nice. From okay. The Silmarillion. Um, okay. So that's some of the other ones are like <laughs> plot specific. We'll, ah, you we'll can tell us. Yeah, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll avoid it. Uh, some of the crazier ones. Oh, uh, so <laughs> Gandalf will be in the creation story so that's nice cool. oh interesting um so he's not meteor man then so he's not already so, no they're saying he's they're saying he's meteor man spoilers yeah well we, we oh. kind of knew that at the end of the season one it was like kind of implied so according to this they're saying so they brought him in early knows. right that's what what do you mean wait well, i'm saying i'm saying it's confirmed then that because Gandalf doesn't come out. Oh, oh, oh. right, right. right. So, so, if, he, so if, if that's Gandalf, the rings of power canon. brought him yes. in Before earlier. The time. Yes, okay. yes, yes. Um, Hate this place. Yeah. The, <laughs> <laughs> uh, one of the, okay, so this is one of the ones that I'm like, okay, that's kind of weird. Uh, apparently, oh. Sauron has a son. 
What? And he, uh, yeah. So Sauron has a son. Who's saying this again? This, okay, so this is just a bunch of rumors that came out. Real, but are they like, ver- or sorry, are they consistent with other people's rumors? Like, are they being like kind of verified by like mm, people are so spreading the same rumors? Or are they this is, different? This is a bunch of that came up on the internet. So it's like, it's, so it's probably iffy. like some are good and some are not. Right. Some are hit or miss. But you know what I mean, right? Like, if, like who's if, verifying? It's coming it. from the ring. The uh, ring, ring. It, and the other guy says it and they said the same one. Maybe there's some. It comes from a site that's been right before. Oh, okay, yeah, okay, 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 stuff. Okay, okay. It's kind of so like making Star Wars a little oh, right. bit. Okay, okay, like okay. they've been right and then they've been wrong. And then yeah. when they're wrong, they're like, well, they changed it. Okay, got it. Okay, so this is one where they're like, Tom Bombadil and Goldberry are going to be in an episode. <laughs> okay. And you're like, okay. So like The Last okay, of Us with sense. the two yeah. characters. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> and, then the, and then the next rumor is Tom Bombadil is Melkor, who's the bad the bad guy. Melkor? He, yeah. They're saying that he's being punished. That's how he's in Tom Bombadil form and he's being living on earth as his punishment. You're like, that's crazy. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. That's crazy. crazy. So that's like, that's like, that's like the craziest it gets. Super crazy. That's the craziest it gets. So it's like, uh, <laughs> Melkor I, is, bo- yeah, yeah, Tom nah, Bombadil. Nah, 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 nah. So that's like, nah, the, nah. that was like the one where you're like, okay, that's kind of nice. What is he but, like? Forced to be all happy and like, yeah, crazy. exactly. Like, and wear those yellow boots. Um, <laughs> yeah, and yeah, then dude. just another thing is like, oh, episode six and seven is a big battle, okay, siege type of stuff. Whatever. Uh, there's Dope. like speci- specific rumor, like Damn. plot ones that I'm avoiding, but do we know what date it comes when this comes out? <laughs> nope, still don't know. But this year, probably, yeah. I hope this season this is good, man. I imagine that I imagine uh, it'll be the same as last year. We get a uh, preview for the Super Bowl, uh, oh, okay. Uh, that's what I would that say. That would make sense. That'd be cool. That'd be awesome. Man, that, that, you know, the thing that doesn't leave me from that first season, the visuals. Yeah. It was so good looking. It was crazy. Yeah. I got to rewatch it. That's about it. Yeah. I got to rewatch it. it. Yeah. Have you rewatched it? Uh, I got halfway through for rewatch and then they I was doing something else. <laughs> yeah. I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> so I can't bad. stand it. <laughs> hey, we're, we're Rings of Power fans here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Against all. Uh, I'm like a 7.5. Or, that's or, still that's a good. fan. That's still yeah, a fan. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I'm not like a diehard. Well, like, no, yeah, but no. like there, are, love it, there hardly it, like, are no diehards yeah. out there. <laughs> it's mostly like true, true, there's haters true. and then people that are like, yeah, it was good. Yeah. yeah. For what it was, it was, it was yeah. very yeah. entertaining. Yeah. And, and as far as the rumors go, I mean, I feel like half of them are, are wrong. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, yeah. And they're just people putting it out there to be like, let's see how pissed off you are. But listen. Sauron has a son. Exactly. That's Which if that would happen, I'd be like, what? That's crazy. Well, that's the thing too. Wild. I think that's crazy, but I kind of want to see like pl- pl- Sauron. No, <laughs> Sauron Jr. Sauron. Sauron. Sauron I want to see it. like Grogu, but in like the, his black armor <laughs> yeah, that he yeah. had in the last battle. Exactly. But a little baby one. Like, no, but I, if something like that were to happen, I'd want to see, let them explain it. I'd make, Does that make sense? Right. Before so, I'm like, this oh, is stupid. Well, that's the thing. Yeah. On paper, everything looks stupid. Yes. Right. So if like, mm-hmm. if they have a good reason or maybe it's, yeah. If it's not like, oh, it's not actually, you know, I don't know. The, yeah. you, you give them the benefit of the he doubt. He makes an orc son. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah. it's not really a son, but he just calls him son. Oh, they see that. Yeah, 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 yeah. That works better. When he's going back, he and like he forges him the kicks two, a stone. He's the like, they, two cut, they found me out. He kicks a stone and he hits some kid that's been abandoned there. And he's like, oh, I'll take you in. Yeah. Oh, where did I get these Sauron skills Jr. for writing? That's just wild. Hey, that's it's a gift. It's a gift. Bezos, but, yeah. get him in there. Get him in the right. Swole Smeagol. Swole Smeagol, get him in. He's available. I won't charge you that much either. Yes, you will. He's working. That's crazy. Um, so we're going to move on. Um, that'll do it for the news. Crazy Ooh, news. Um, we're going to talk a little, just a little bit um, before we leave about... First impressions. First impressions yeah. of Echo. But we're going to do it in sign language. So this is going to be really boring <laughs> for your podcast. Um, we've and We've been go. training for a very long yeah, time. Yeah, we've been working hard. <laughs> that's good. That's <laughs> good. Wow. I bet that's really good yeah. for the podcast people, too. Uh, yeah. guys, that's what I said. <laughs> no, uh, first two episodes of Echo. Um, the full season is out. Right. Um, five yeah. episodes. Yep, five episodes. Um, so we've only watched the first two episodes. I've heard stuff on the internet about it not being good or whatever. Some people liked it. Some people yeah. hated it. Um, my first impressions from the first two episodes, it was all right. Um, obviously there's going to be spoilers here for the first two episodes. 
Um, I thought the best part was when Daredevil showed up in the first episode and fought <laughs> her. Um, that was probably like, I was like, oh, okay. Um, I like that fight but too. That other than, fight. yeah, that was, it was, was shot actually, really well. I'm usually very picky about fight yeah. scenes. I actually really like that scene. Um, the other thing I'm, I'm like, the, the violence just kind of seems like eh, it didn't need to be, um, that like to me, it seems that the rated R or the mature, you mean like the super bloody part? Yeah. I'm just like, I don't, I think they kind of used it as like, Hey, this is gonna, this is finally a mature, uh, see, uh, series. And I just, to me, it was like, ah, I don't know if it was that necessary. Um, yeah. But after the first two episodes, I was kind of like, my main gripe is that I don't feel any like connection to her or I don't feel like she's that much of a likable character. I know she's not supposed to be likable because she's doing some pretty bad things. They try to kind of get you to feel bad for her and her story at the you beginning. You didn't feel bad? Girl, you're a girl dad, bro. Well, yeah, but wow. they must have not done yeah. it very well. And her name's Maya too, so yeah, it's, 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 it should hit me right in the feels. Um, but I just, I don't, I don't have... I don't know. There's just nothing that's really tying me to her um, that I really feel connected. So that's kind of my biggest. It's it's, it's just left me kind of like, oh, whatever. Like, I don't know. I think my favorite character is Biscuits. Can we t- yeah, I was just say, <laughs> I thought you would hate Biscuits. <laughs> no, I love the Biscuits. Biscuits is, the biscuits, best. Is, biscuits is pretty dope. Great I'm not going to lie. And he, and and he, he has a snip. He, he has a, a healer. Yeah. Yeah. I knew you. Yeah. Like, this is the best Marvel thing. This. <laughs> this is the best Marvel thing. It's so dumb. I, when I saw him, I was just like, oh my gosh, she's going to love it. Healer gang, baby. Let's go. <laughs> healer gang. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, what do you guys think? I mean, what are you guys' thoughts? Uh, I actually, I liked it. Um, I think I probably liked it more. I wasn't just like, oh, I thought it was like, oh, it was good. Like the the choreo- the fighting choreography was good. Yeah, the, first, the, the first episode I think was a uh str- struggled with being like, we got to catch you up yeah, real recap. quick to what it is and yeah. throw new stuff in and recap. But I really like the stuff, like seeing her growing up, like seeing um the backstory of how she lost her yeah. leg and stuff like that. I thought that was good. And then the Daredevil, uh, even the stuff before that, before da- Daredevil showed up, I thought the fighting looked really good. Yeah. It the was, cave Indians. It was kind of a throwback to uh, the the Daredevil yeah. show because um, they did really cool fight choreography. Uh, I really like the going into her perspective. Like well, when she like doesn't hear the, anything. Yeah, the sound's muted, and then she just like, breaks the dude's neck, and then she's like goes in and fights. I thought that was really cool. Yeah, the cool. heartbeats, the two heartbeats going. Yeah, yeah. that's cool. So I, th- I think they're doing like interesting stuff with it. Uh, and I, I really like all like the supporting characters, like uh, biscuits, like biscuits. <laughs> biscuits is good. Bro. His dog. Yeah. Um, yeah. Billy Jack. <laughs> that's the oh my gosh. That's the healer. <laughs> um, and uh, I like the dude at the, the bowling alley. Like, I don't know what, I don't know if they've said who the, who he is. I assume that's his, her dad's her brother. brother. Cause she, when she the, the, the grandma Lopez says brothers. the Lopez brother, yeah. the Lopez oh, boys were no good. Then. Yeah. Yeah, so her, her uncle. Yeah, so um, I think he's really good. Uh, yeah, I, the acting's good in this. Yeah, I don't think there's any character that I've been like. I feel like on some of these Marvel shows, you're like, look at the people, and you're like, you, you're clearly just an yeah. actor. Uh, but these, like, you know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Like the, well, bad acting. These people <laughs> yeah. feel like uh, like they're real people in the yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. in Oklahoma. Although, although we will say, I will say that we will say we will say because you'll say? you'll agree with this. We talked about oh, yeah, we yeah, talked yeah. about like having your token Asian actor um, that they always get right, the, the same, same guy Asian in Hollywood. Guys. I was like, this is full of the same token Indian actor. Uh, yeah. So that one guy, I can't remember his name, but he was in Dances and Wolves. Yeah, the, he's the in old, everything. The dad. Oh, the dad. Um, yeah, the grandma. And, the, grandma. The, the grandma also. All these, and all these people were in Twilight. And uh, <laughs> according to Crystal, because all the really? all the werewolves in uh, Twilight or, are Native American. Wait, really? Yeah, so and her like dad half, was also half yeah. of this cast is uh, Twilight. Yeah. Oh, so I've never watched that's Twilight. the I just Me laughed. Either, at, but Crystal, was like, I laughed at that. Twilight. When I, like, when, when, I, when I was like, yeah, about it. when I was like Marvel and the, what they typically do, I was like, yeah, well, there they are. <laughs> well, I mean, I was glad that I Biscuits mean, was a new, a fresh face. Yeah, but I haven't seen this before. <laughs> I think a lot of these uh, actors are in Reservation Dogs also on Hulu. Oh, okay. At least I saw someone say that. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, I, I did think yeah. the same thing <laughs> where I was like, we seen, I've seen you before. <laughs> oh. <laughs> um, but <laughs> they're all good actors. Yeah, that's good. Uh, yeah. So I, yeah, I think uh, I, I'm interested to see where it goes. Uh, I think the only thing that's throwing me is kind of like the supernatural side of it. Like she's got 
whatever this connection she, uh, to her X-Men? ancestors. Uh, they might make her a mutant. That'd be interesting. I mean, that's why she has a super <laughs> little spiralies. The but, uh, what's the what's that Pokemon? Wor- Poliwhirl. Poliwhirl. <laughs> yeah, it has a little Poliwhirl. It has a little. <laughs> she's got the same thing on her hand. It's crazy that you even know that. <laughs> That's yeah, that's good, man. Hey, that's catch him up, bro. bro. Yeah. Nerd, nerd, nerd nerd you didn't know the name, but you knew it was a Pokemon. <laughs> it's good. Yeah, per- Poliwhirl. Yeah, Poliwag, whatever. Yeah, I was going to ask you how you guys felt about the ancestry kind of like flashbacks and stuff. For me, it feels weird. Um, Like it's cool, kind of, but it's like the scenes that they're doing feels weird to me. I don't know. It's I like, ass- yeah, I get it. They're like, oh, here are the different like reincarnations or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But or it's for like, her, it's yeah, of her ancestors, of the original who had the powers. Yeah, and now it's going to go so to. So it's like her. I get it, but I kind of don't like. I don't know. I wish it was. I don't know. I just wish it was a little bit better told. Maybe in the next episodes, we're going to see a lot more like direct influence and like this is yeah. how it works and this is like how sh- how she's awakening it or whatever. Yeah. But like. Well, in that second episode, we only see this too. When yeah. that second episode, it says Alabama, you yeah. know where they're playing. Yeah, and I was there. I was expecting it to be like roll, roll tide. tide. <laughs> I mean, Nick that, Saban that, coaching that dude that came out was dope. Yeah, they're dude. like, hey, we, yeah, need, we the need, need the big guns. He's like LeBron <laughs> James coming out. Yeah, yeah, that guy was. Um, he threw the. I I agree. Yeah. I agree with you. They're kind of like, I don't know, because it just they start with it and then it goes into the show. So I'm like, I'm wondering if there would be value to having it like interspersed in between the episode. So you go back to something there instead of just like, here's like five minutes, the episode, with here's it. five minutes and then nothing. But it's like, you kind of get more of the story going along mm. with, so it's like a mm. flashback to there Yeah, and you actually have scenes that might work better. But yeah, it does feel like a, a little out of place. I know what they're trying to do where you're like, these are her ancestors that it's been passed down the okay. power, the, the poly was, world power that yeah, they've the got poly world power. Like I was more okay with the like more like Aztec like the first frame, one like the first one than like the old west one because the old west one was in this like picture movie like silent movie style during the like the the light horsemen or whatever they were called that was just kind of weird I mean I think a lot of people could see that as like fun yeah. but for me it just felt weird I don't know I didn't I didn't like the like type change because in the ancient one. Like, if we're following the rules, the ancient ones should be, like, freaking super ancient looking. Yeah. Like, like on the, tablets. Yeah, like <laughs> on stone tablets. <laughs> like exactly. It should be, like, Yeah, it figures. should be just drawings yeah. of stick figures. Yeah. <laughs> Hieroglyphics. Yeah. Yeah, I get it. But you know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't know. The middle one felt weird and awkward to me. Yeah. Um, but so that's one of the issues that I have is this um, ancestor, kind of how they're doing it, how, how they're portraying that power. And also the the assumption of like, well, they're technically aliens and then they like turn into humans. So it's like, it's kind of interesting. Yeah. Um, but um, yeah, there's some issues with effects that kind of brought me out of the show. A lot of the gunshot crap is really bad. She has, you know, the very huge scene of her shooting Kingpin in the face was terrible. Did you see it? Did you notice anything bad about it? She went bang. She didn't even have any kick She's at all. Strong, dude. She got the I was just like, pool. bro, what is this? And it's because she can't hear. So it's not. So doesn't it doesn't affect, affect her. her. Yeah. Like yeah. physics? It's a power. Okay. That's sick. It's a power. I mean, that's. But okay. <laughs> um, a lot of things like that, like bad, like practical stuff. Also, the blood looks really bad. When they do this, like gruesome stuff, it looks really bad, in my opinion. Um, there's There was one that I was like, okay, like I get. In the first episode, she kicks a chair oh, at a dude. Was, I thought that was sick, dude. Right. Yeah, but that what chair part, flies. Yeah, like, that's yeah. a what metal part? chair. What, what part was it? it was it's when, at the before first episode, she before she fights Daredevil, when well, they're be, they're fight. killing all the people. She, like, comes, she, she, um, snaps the dude's neck. Yes. And then she starts fighting for real. It's like, okay. Yeah. She goes in. The first thing she does, there's a chair there, a big metal chair. Yeah. And she kicks it, obviously, with her metal foot. But it just flies <laughs> and just goes into like another security. And I was yeah. like, I was like, okay, like I've I've stubbed my toe on a chair. <laughs> you don't before. have a metal leg, dude. Yeah, you don't but have a metal leg. I'm sorry. Even if you have a metal leg, no you're not. Way. Think about kicking a ball. You kick a soccer ball as hard as you can. You don't. You, and you got a metal leg. You can kick a chair as hard as you can. <laughs> no, no, yeah. no, no way. How far do you think you? Let's say you have. 
<laughs> yeah, dude. The immunity of a being little, hurt. The How little, far like, is he school can... chairs? Pla- like metal? Oh, was it no, plastic? that's not. No. Oh, that's yeah, a me- that's No, it's not. It's not a plastic okay, metal a chair. a metal chair is lighter. No, it's what? not. Aluminium, bro. <laughs> the plastic? Nah, yeah. nah. You got to yeah, back yeah, off. Yeah, yeah, no, 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 no. And they don't fly nah, nah, in nah, the nah, air into a guy's face. Yeah. No. Yeah. No, they flop physics, over. Bro. They no. flop over. No, 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 no. Yeah, it's no there's no way. Rewatch that. <laughs> go if you're listening to the podcast. Go rewatch that scene and be like, yeah, that oh, yeah. that chair. No way that flies that much. <laughs> Here's the other thing that I may be in the. I'm probably in the minority about this. Okay. I think the worst character in this is <laughs> Kingpin. Oh, oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! I. Why are you holding it? Like some crazy <laughs> offensive because, thing. Because because people I love think. Because people love his <laughs> character. Oh my God. People are like, he's the best. Character. And I just feel like I don't know if he's his, the worst. His voice he drives stuff. me. It's like so over the top. Like, we are family. I think he's the We are the best together. When you're talking it's about just over when, the top. When you're talking about good actors, he's definitely the weakest. And so when he talks and when he acts, you're crazy. King Fun's good, dude. He's not rewatch Take him scenes. out of that stupid uh, Hawaiian shirt from Hawkeye, and then he get, he get. no, but he, like just his delivery on lines. I just I don't see why people you love him Yoda so much. Too? No, it's just to me. It's <laughs> why like just talk like that. It's overacting. No, stupid it, puppet. Over, Yoda overacts. <laughs> That's what he's saying. That's like no, crazy. He's Yoda saying, sounds he's all the right. Same thing. No, it's just his is it's too That's much. He's rewatch trying too those, hard. Rewatch those too scenes. Hard. Rewatch those scenes, and I'm like, dude, you're you're cartoony. Like you, we've made this step to live action. You don't have to be the kingpin from Spider-Man animated series. Like, did you it's watch too the Daredevil cartoony. show? He's been uh, he's the, live he's action the same for Daredevil. I bro. didn't like him in the Daredevil. Uh, he's I, too I, over the top. I think nah, nah, you're nah, overreacting nah. a little yeah. bit. I'm just saying. I, I'll be honest. I feel like uh, that's why I said from the beginning. Hmm. This is people aren't going to agree with this. I just, I think Billy Jack is probably the worst. Billy the dog, or Billy Jack. His name is. What's his name? Yeah, Billy Jack. Billy Jack. I think he's the worst because he didn't attack, didn't help anyone out. Where was he? Um, anyways, so that, oh, right. by, he by the way, Billy Jack would have been dead. Bo show flying at like 70, 80 miles an hour, catching her on the truck. That, that was Push the, the brake on flips. That dog's out the window. Dead. Nah, nah, he can. Yeah, Billy he Jack. Can. Billy Jack, Billy Jack, Jack went Nimble. out the window and then Landed. went back in. <laughs> He's Billy also Jack's a polywag. Yeah, he's, yeah he's got the little river on his belly. He's like, shh, <laughs> I'd be sick. But yeah, anyways. Dang, you yeah. don't think he's unpopular, unpopular opinion, but I think We're he's too him. cartoony. We're used to him. It's all right. And I don't like him. I think he's one of the weaker. Yeah. Uh, I, and how do you survive a gunshot a to the eye? Impossible. I'm just saying he's it. He's a CW. I'm saying. Is he a mutant too? He's a CW. He might be. Is he a polywag too? He might be. Is he a Pokemon too? Is he a Snorlax? He is inhumanly hey, bro, strong. I, never mind. I'm He's got gonna, something to him. Is he a Snorlax? I don't know. He tanked yeah, the bullet to the eye. Yeah, but he got a bullet to the eye. Bang. Well, I don't know what to tell you. He got thick bones. And she, she also jumped off a train and hit the top of a yeah, car. Yeah, but we've die. already established he's a polywalk. Okay. Well, there you go. Wait. She's a... Yeah. Well, she also has a yeah. leg, uh, metal leg. Yeah. She's laying on that. Indestructible. So, I mean, she actually has superpowers, <laughs> but she doesn't know it. Yeah. I mean, she, okay. Well, that's yeah. the other yeah. thing, too. Yeah. And that's the other thing, too. Superpowers? I will say she has a thing. Leniency. Would you guys not freak out if you guys like tried to push something and like some powers came out and a little thing appeared on your arms? You wouldn't be like, no, because I'm not a coward. You wouldn't be like, Whoa. hey, I'm a hero. You wouldn't want to talk Whoa. to someone and be like, hey, yo, 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 <laughs> check this out. Check it or, or be trying it later on and be like, let me see if I can For get sure this that. to work again. For sure. Yeah, obviously. Like if webs came out, if I was, I'd be trying to. I mean, have you seen those spray videos? everywhere <laughs> where they catch stuff and then they're like, <laughs> <laughs> they immediately try to shoot web. Out. Yeah. It's so be like a dude catching like a plate, like with crazy. Re- yeah. Re- I've reflex. seen them. And they're like, you're like, Oh, and he'll be like, <laughs> uh. <laughs> it's so funny. Yeah, those. those are awesome. That's, that's so what funny. I'd be. The, the whole, that's what you'd be after that. <laughs> that's what, that's what I'd be doing. That's how I'd be, bro. <laughs> but that's exactly it. Like the whole next episode better be her going like ooh, on ooh, things ooh, trying to ooh, like, ooh. I hope I'm wrong about this, but I hope the next, yeah. whole next episode is her How trying to I figure it out. the power yeah. that I mm-hmm. tapped into. Yeah. yeah. She'd stick her leg in like that's a, a classic wrench or something and be like, that's a great, cla- it's a classic superhero yeah. trope. Once you find your powers, you can't exactly it's super interesting. Like figure this out. Like, I that would, whirlwind happen again. <laughs> you your polywag over there. Yeah. Uh, anyway, so so <laughs> off the based on the first two episodes, where are you guys at? 
Because you liked it pretty good. Yeah, I think it's so a, like in the seven. It's like a solid seven yeah. for me right now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I'm in the six sixes. Five. Yeah, six I mean, five. I'm six five probably. Yeah. For for now. Well, yeah. who knows? It Don't might get really us. good. Yeah. I mean, I need yeah. more kingpin. You know. <laughs> My thing is, I just feel I just don't I don't uh, know why the show was made. Does that make sense? Like she, it's not even mean? when I heard that they were For making funsies. this series, I was like, who's clamoring for oh. an echo series. Does that makes sense. So to me, it just seems like it's one of those shows that you're like, it's not going to get the attention of a lot of people. And for me, it's not like a big character that I'm like, Oh, I was clamoring for, to know more about her. I don't think she was I, that I'll intriguing say, say in the Hawkeye series um, to be like, Oh, I we need a series for her. You know, I think this is exactly why these TV shows should exist. So you can try and maybe it's, not freaking Captain America or whatever or Iron yeah. Man, but it's like oh, it's, it might be some. It might hit, but yeah. it's a low risk. You know, it's a TV show or whatever yeah. series, whatever you want to I call guess it. So. I think if there's any time to do it, you can do it on that, or or you could do like a not a what if, but like you could do one offs or something like that. But I don't know. I don't find this bad. I, it is interesting that they chose to do this specific yeah. character, but. I find the the deaf aspect very interesting though. I like like the heartbeat and like those different like perspective changes. I think it's interesting, but yeah, I don't know. No, I just think they should spend their money on something more. Like maybe we get a biscuit spinoff. <laughs> well, we might out get of this it one. now. You know, keep yeah, watching. You might get you know. it. Who knows? Biscuits. He's a cool dude. He is. He's a ride or die kind of homie. <laughs> <laughs> That's the kind of see. I hope my cousins are like that, you know? I hope my cousins oh, are well. right or die. Are you a biscuits? I am a biscuits. Oh. You know I'm your biscuits. All right, dude. You, you show you show up. You, you show up you up. need help. I'll be like, yeah, yeah, bro. What I'm gonna need? jump on a train. Yeah. You hey, okay? Track me. You got it. You got it. <laughs> no questions asked. He's just like <laughs> let's go. I'm on a mission. <laughs> like the guy's yeah. dope. Exactly. I'm on a quest or whatever he said. That was funny. Uh, but yeah, that's I think uh, that's it. Echo. Yeah. yeah. We'll that'll do it. Next episode, we'll talk about probably the rest of the series we'll probably finish it up um one thing we didn't get to that you reminded me of um apparently there's a what if star wars show oh, in the works they might be doing there's a rumor oh. um we haven't watched what if i haven't watched what if season two, season two no. um so we might <laughs> yeah it's been, holiday they season. came, came out on the Christmas. holidays right. um, terrible time. so we might talk about that if we get to it terrible terrible we'll see Stick yeah. around to the Nerd Age podcast to find out. Um, we'll be back next week with more Nerd Age. You can follow us on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, X, um, YouTube. Um, exactly. <laughs> and uh, thanks so much for hanging out with us. See you all next week. See you. See you.